we're taking steps to confront not just the gun crisis, but what is actually a public health crisis. Nothing, nothing I'm about to recommend in any way impinges on the Second Amendment. They're phony arguments. I asked the Attorney General and his team to identify for me immediate, concrete actions I could take now without having to go through the Congress. And today I'm announcing several initial steps my administration is taking to curb this epidemic of gun violence. Much more need be done, but the first, first, want to rein in the proliferation of so-called ghost guns. They have no serial numbers. So when they show up at a crime scene, they can't be traced. And the buyers aren't required to pass a background check to buy the kit. With online sales and ghost guns, times and trafficking methods have changed. And we have to adjust. We also have to ask the Justice Department to release a new annual report. This report will better help policymakers address firearms trafficking as it is today. We want to treat pistols modified with stabilizing braces with the seriousness they deserve. A stabilizing brace hook and a pencil essentially makes that pistol a hell of a lot more accurate than a mini rifle. As a result, it's more lethal, effectively turning into a short-barreled rifle. Fourthly, during my campaign for president, I wanted to make it easier for states to adopt extreme risk protection order laws. They're also called red flag laws. These laws allow a police or family member to petition a court in their jurisdiction and say, I want you to temporarily remove from the following people any firearm they may possess because they're a danger and a crisis. They're presenting a danger to themselves and to others. And the court makes a ruling. Yeah. All right, Shalom. Given all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweshai, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the Akiam, the brothers pushing this truth through the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered, the speck of others' lights will be scattered among the heathen. I say Shalom, and I say Shalom unto the few and faithful Aqua, the sisters listening and learning. This is your brother Yerushalam. Me GMS Prophetic Vibrations come out of Trinidad and the Big will coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Rakakadash. Now this video will be entitled Don't Trust in a Carnal Sword. Right? You know, because gun sales, you know, have just begun to skyrocket. Alright? As um President Biden cracks down on gun ownership. Right, you know. And in this clip you heard him speak about certain things, you know. Yeah, which, which you know you know he, he, which is which is a liar all right because you know this is coming against you know your sec the second amendment um rights according to to the to americans right the second amendment all right which give them the right to carry arms you know he you know you know basically you know the lord say you know when they speak at a lie they speak it of their own so he's saying it's not coming against the rights but obviously it is all right because you know they're gonna have stricter stricter background checks you know, you know, they're gonna have um they basically what he was talking about is a new law, you know, one of the draconian laws again that's basically going to um, you know, take away the rights of again of his citizens. You know, anybody basically could um could um report someone who they believes to be a threat, believe to be a threat. Alright, you know, and who who who's gonna be the person to determine that? Alright? You know, we know the track record of these devils, alright, so you know what they're gonna do, but now the point is you know that they they, they create these situations, you know. And I, and I say that because you know some of these um, these mass shootings you know they they orchestrated why you know so they could control you know as the apostle Gaba always says says you know El apostle Gaba you know he said pressure they create pressure from above which results in pressure and pressure from beneath right so they create a situation where you know they have these mass shootings and um, you know then people you know basically um, request for their rights to be taken away. Right, the rights to carry arms. Not not that we the men of the Lord want to do that anyway, but that's that's being carnal. Alright. So hey, you know, it this this is what's going on. So all this is really is prophecy. Alright, because the modern day sword is the gun. Alright? Goes into missiles as well and all those things, but it's the gun. 
so this is, this is going to result in um, uproars among the people right you know especially you know the Edomites too you know because after all you know this is their blessing you know according to Genesis 27 and 40 you know we could get that is the blessing of Esau Esau said the Lord said he will live by his sword you know which is why you know they especially you know if you into their nature they would they wouldn't like that at all all right and this is Genesis 27 and verse 40 so like yeah, let me go back there Genesis 27 and verse 40 it says and by thy sword thou shalt live you know and in fact let me read from verse 38 and he saw said unto his father hast thou but one blessing my father bless me even me also my father and he saw lifted up his voice and wept you know and Isaac his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above and by thy sword thou shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother and it shall come to pass that when thou have the dominion thou shalt break his yoke from off the back which is the time now all right but the point is here is that the lord said that hey you know his you know and by thy sword shall thou live so they didn't know any other way than to live but by the sword so if they take away the sword they like fish out of water Right, which is why right now they're rushing to buy up any weapons any ammo that they could get all right you know so you know that's this is what's going on you know they, they, they this going to really result in this sedition you know against the government and all those things like that all right you know we already had things um gun sales i think the highest gun sales um in the last few months was in the month of january when biden was sworn in so you know you have the republican supporters and the democrat supporters you know going at it so they're preparing for something they know something's coming all right they're preparing all right they're preparing another precept we can go to to prove that you know the, the wicked which you know the wicked um uh, is esau edom all right we go to psalms you know chapter 17 and verse 13 because king david said it you know psalms 17 and 13 arise O lord O your howard disappoint him cast him down deliver my my soul from the wicked which is thy sword and so the Lord uses Esau as his sword as a sword as well. So hey, these people program as a weapon against sword against who Jake, you know, to correct us. Alright, for correction, that's what they were made for. Alright, so the these Edomites, you know, basically are the ones who do any mass shootings and in any case, you know, they are the real they are the real extremists and those things, you know. You know, Jake pretty much only killing with Jake's, you know, due to the curses in Deuteronomy twenty eight. Alright? You know? last year you know you heard about gun stores being sold out you know some jakes put his guns you know but a lot of edomites mainly right all right and right now you know it's a great rush and spike and right a spike right now you know in terms of you know the gun sales you know we, and we can check that all right you know he saw um he saw you know they really what they're trying to do now is, is get a get a grip get control over the um over the, the situation for the, of these these citizens you know these edomites and jakes too you know because they're afraid of jake you know having guns so when they bring in that martial law they don't have too much resistance so it's all about control but pretty much it'll be too it's to be too late you know because they they're already rushing and they're not going to give up those guns if they have to hide them they'll hide them you know they ain't going to give up that all right you know the lord put his spirit on them to buy all right so let's go to our precept here classic precept um, let's go second Esther's chapter 15 let me bring that out second Esther's 15 and um, verse 14 it's, it reads war to the wool and them that dare dwell with their in for the sword and their destruction draw at night and one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands all right so they, these swords are guns all right for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another right because they're going to do that because why they're going to be looking for food they're going to be famine right they, they're going to break in to take what they want food clothing water anything they could get their hands on right we shall not regard um, um their kings nor princes and the course of the action shall stand in their own power which means they don't care about any laws they don't care about any soldiers martial you know martial law they're not going to care they're just going to they're just going to um, come with the guns and take what they want right so this really is what's going on they're going to be fighting against one another all right 
you know, and then, you know, you know, Esau believed that, you know, Esau really trying to um, reduce the, the ability of the citizens, as I said, you know, to fight against the National Guard, you know, and the soldiers, you know, when they bring the martial law, but, you know, but, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, they're not going to have the control. Your Basham, your Shai is the one doing all this. Your Basham, your Shai is who's, who's doing it. And he's going to set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. So this is um, Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 2. It's um, Salakia, yeah, Isaiah 19. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 2. It reads, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor. Now they're going to fight with, God, with, with swords in their hand, which is guns. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. So Republican, Republican against Democrat, right? You know? You know, if you got food, if you didn't have food, right? And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof. You know, they're not going to know what to do. These devils, right? These elites of Esau. And they shall seek to their idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. They're going to seek all they seek, but they can't. They wouldn't have the control on the left hand side spirits, right? With the left hand side spirits. And the Egyptians will, will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. So they, 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 you know, this cruel lord very well might be this wicked Biden, right? You know? You know, and, and this division that the Lord is setting up in the kingdom, right? He's giving them the, the means by which to perform the sedition. You know, he's giving them the guns in the hand. No matter how much Esau tries to control, he can't. All right? And as the Lord says um, in the scriptures, you know, a king, every kingdom divided upon itself will not stand. Mark 3 and verse, uh, verse 24, it says, um, Mark 3 and 23, and he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. So the kingdom of Esau, you know, is being is being set against it itself, right? Which is the devil, right? And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but he but hath an end. So this is the end, the signs of the end of Esau, right? You know? And this is just gonna make people more frantic to hold on to their rights, you know. They're gonna they they see that you know their so called rights, they feel that their rights being taken away by the government. Right? So it, it's gonna it, this is just it's gonna this thing is gonna really spiral out of hand. Right? Shit's gonna hit the fan and it's gonna be utter chaos and confusion. Right? You know, it's gonna be utter chaos and confusion. But this is a prophecy of the Lord. Just say as the Lord, this is what's gonna happen, right? Um, second Ezra um, 15 and verse 17 it reads a man shall go, shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able it's going to be so bad but because of their pride the city shall be troubled right the houses shall be destroyed right and men shall be afraid yeah, because everybody will have a gun it's going to be worse than the wild west and a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy the houses for the, with the sword with the gun right and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So that's the point, you know. You know, so a lot of Jakes you know gonna gonna get caught up in this rush, in this carnal rush, you know, for the for these um for these weapons, you know. But really and truly, you know, this is the power of the Edomite, it's not Jake power. Jake power is a spiritual power. The spiritual sword, right? These Edomites have no understanding, you know. You know, they don't know they don't trust in law, they trust in the carnal gun, you know, which is their gift, you know, you can't blame them for that. But for Jake's, you know, the elect's not going to trust in that. Let's go to the book of um, Psalms, chapter 44, and verse 6, it reads, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. All right, so the sword wouldn't save, the physical the sword wouldn't save us. But thou hast saved us from our enemies, and hast put them to shame that hated us. So who saved us? Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. In the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever, Selah. So that's who, who we trust in. Trust in the Lord. What about Peter? When, when Peter um, struck off the ear of the man you know, who, 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 who held Yahweh Shai, what did Yahweh Shai say? And what did Yahweh Shai say? It's the book of Matthew, chapter 26, and verse, um, start at verse 51. It says, And behold, you know, 
one of them that ruled with Yahweh Shai stretched out his hand as his Peter and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Then Yahweh Shai said unto him, Put up again thy sword into its place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. So all those who take the sword in Israelites are going to perish by the sword. He saw too, you know, thinkest thou that, that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall, pres he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels. But, but how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled and this that this must be all right you know so so in that same hour say, say, said um you were shouting the multitudes are you come out as against a thief with swords and staves for to take me i sat daily with you teaching in the temple and you laid no hand on me so you know the you carnal you know who's the you know these these pharisees these these um priests you know and these pharisees they, they come with swords right you know, but the elect, you know, the our shy and the elect, you know, that this is not gonna be our power. It's not our power. We don't trust in those things. We don't trust in the carnal sword. You know what we what we trust in is the spiritual sword, but we understand we are we Lord willing we are among that number, we understand that, you know, that that is not fruitful for us. This Acts seventeen and verse twenty nine, for as much then as we are offspring of the most high, um, we ought not to think Oh, so lucky. Yeah, let me see if I could find 17 and 29. Let me just find get something. So lucky. Yeah, let's bear with my moment here. Acts chapter 17. Yeah. Um, I believe it's Acts 7, but let me just check that. Yeah, let me go to another precept in the meantime. Let's go to Zechariah. But remember that I'll come back to it. Um, book of Zechariah, chapter 4 and verse 6 you know it reads then he said and spake unto me saying this is the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai unto Zerubbabel saying not by might nor by power but by my spirit said the Lord of hosts Yahweh Bashim Yahushai so we do we do we don't um we wouldn't win by might and by power by the sword right carnal power in this world right we go by the spirit because we understand that everything is spiritual, you know, everything that's happening has a ramification in the spiritual realm. We do battle against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. Alright? So when you go to Ephesians chapter 6 and from verse 12, it reads, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. You know, wherefore we take unto unto you the whole armor. Of the most high that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand stand therefore having your loins good about with truth this truth and having the breastplate of a right of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace you know quick to share the gospel of peace right you took all the feet of those who share the gospel of peace right above all taking the shield of faith right wherein you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked right you know your feet is faith is what pleases you wash me or shine my feet you know we will be safe you know um, and take, in, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High. So the word of the Lord is the sword of the Spirit. This is the sword that we're going to use, not the carnal sword. Right? The sword of the Spirit, which is this truth, this very word, this Bible. You know, that we call the Bible, it's our sword. Right? Because this, this Bible has power. You know, it's the true power. You know, it's Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword, sharper than a carnal sword, right? Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So this is your true sword, you know, and this is what is destroying Esau and taking him down. You know, we do we don't trust in man, you know, we don't trust in these in all these black militias, these nonsense, you know, like in fact, uh, this guy, you know, coming up with this nonsense and encouraging our people to try to fight with the carnal sword you know that's just being carnal and you know that leads to destruction all right you know so 
Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 5 it reads, Thus saith Yahweh, cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make it flesh his arm, you know, flesh, it's mean then then carnal. Right? The sword, the carnal sword, right? You know, you cannot flesh his arm and go into your power then. You can't make flesh your power. And whose heart departed from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For he shall be the as shall be like the heat in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness. In his soul that are not inhabited. Blessed is the man that trusts in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and who hope is in the Lord. Right? Whose hope is in the Lord? For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters that spread out his roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall be careful, shall, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding of fruits of true fruitfulness and profitability, coming from dealing in spiritual things, and not being carnal. Right? Which is why the Lord said in the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, and verse 6, He said, and wisdom and knowledge, wisdom and knowledge, you know where you get that from, these scriptures, right? You know, wisdom is the fear of your Bashim, your Shai, right? When you fear the Lord, you're going to know what, obey his words. You have, to, you have to read his words to know how to obey it, right? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. This word is the scriptures, right? Which is the spiritual sword, right? So wisdom and knowledge is going to be our stability of the times that are coming up, right? And strength of salvation, the fear of your Bashim, your Shai is his treasure. So that's why it's important to fear your Bashim, your Shai, you know? Because this same word is what's taken down the saw. The same word in the spiritual realm, you know, is what's breaking down the walls. Alright? And where are we going to get that? We're going to get that in the same Bible, Second Thessalonians 2, and verse 8. Alright? Because Esau believed that, you know, his kingdom is going to continue forever, but this is what's going on in the spiritual realm. Alright? The sword of his spirit is destroying him. Alright? It's consuming him. Alright? Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. You know, wicked being revealed is talking about Esau Edom particularly eats the elites of Esau, right? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. You know, and, and that spirit of his mouth even going into the men of the Lord. According to Amos 3 and 7, right? You know, the Lord revealed, revealed his word unto his servants, the prophets. So this word that we bring out is not our own, it's the word of the Lord. So he bring it, he being, they being destroyed by the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right, so they've been taken down in the spiritual realm with the spiritual sword. It's the sharpest sword, and it's the sword that we trust in. And it's the sword that you have to trust in if you want to be safe. Alright? So I'll end it there. Pray this lesson has been edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakwadash, Wa Abad Babal. You know, till next time, Shalom.